Hello my little chefs and welcome back to my kitchen. I am Chef Titi and today we are going to make something very delicious and easy with an ingredient that everybody has in their home. Bananas. I know what you are going to tell me. Chef Titi, I don't want to eat those. They're disgusting, they're too ripe, they're yucky. I don't want to eat it. Just throw them in the trash. And I will say, no. I'm gonna show you something very delicious you can make with those. Trust me, you're gonna thank me. And who do I see in the background? This is the little Leon. Who came to disturb our little recipe. Look at this, he doesn't like banana. Hi, Mr. Leon, hi. All right, I'll see you in one second with him or without him. For today's recipe, we are going to make banana beignets. Banana what? Beign what? Beignet? Chef Titi, what are you saying? I don't understand. Banana beignets. Beignets are basically French donuts. And that's what we're going to make. Banana donuts. The French style. All you need is three main ingredients. So let's go. Woo! Before we start cooking, remember rule number one, wash your hands with soap and water, warm water for 20 seconds. For this recipe, you will need a bowl, a fork, half a cup, an ice cream scoop, a flat spatula, and later on, a frying pan. You will also need some flour, two bananas, one egg, and some powdered sugar for decoration. Step one, you're going to peel your bananas and put them in the bowl, and with the fork, you're gonna smash them until it becomes a paste. If it's easier, you can do one at a time. Do so for about one minute until the bananas are well mashed. We are now going to add our flour. So you will use half a cup of flour per banana. So for this recipe, you will use one cup total. With your fork, you will then mix all of it together until the bananas have absorbed all the flour. It will take you about another minute or so until you get a very mushy paste. Now the final step on making your dough we are just going to add our egg and with your fork same thing keep mixing all of it for about a minute and you should have the consistency of a cake batter that was easy wasn't it okay so all we have to do now is to fry our little beignet into the frying pan with a little bit of coconut oil When frying, you want to use, to start, about two tablespoons of coconut oil or vegetable oil. And to find out when your oil is ready and hot enough, you can take a little bit of batter with your fork and when it starts bubbling around the edges, then you know your oil is ready. Then with your ice cream scoop, you are going to take a scoop of the batter and put it in your pan. You're gonna let it cook for about a minute on each side, on medium. You will also have to add some more oil every time you fry some new beignet. And then you just repeat until you're out of batter. Now with a paper towel, you want to absorb the excess of oil so your beignets are not too greasy. And finally, you will take your powdered sugar and sprinkle it, make it snow over your nice beignet. Et voilà, our banana beignets are ready. Mmm. I wish you could smell it, so I think we should try one. Mmm, you know what I'm gonna say, right? That it's delicious. And you don't need sugar, because the banana has already enough sugar in it. If you want, you can add a little bit of vanilla if you want to make it a little bit more exotic. But 
Mm, they're warm. And that's all you need. What did I tell you? Very easy to make. Three ingredients and that's all. Delicious. All right, my little chefs, that is it for today. I hope you had fun as much as I did. And now you know what you do with those ripe bananas. Turn them into banana beignets. 15 minutes, that is it. And then you enjoy the rest of your day. You can have them for breakfast, for snack, or for regular dessert. I'm Chef Titi. Thank you for coming to my kitchen. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.